Now, before I explain to you how the partial order version of this algorithm works, I want to discuss some of the properties of this algorithm. Let's first look at how the algorithm chooses its actions as part of the plan refinement for primitive tasks. The algorithm TFD only considers actions that are applicable in the current state, and that is very much like forward search. Forward search only looked at actions that were applicable in the current state. And then TFD also only considers actions that are relevant. In that sense, it's a bit like backward search. So it combines relevance and applicability from those two algorithms into the same algorithm. That should help it focus its search significantly. Then, when we look at the plan generation, how the algorithm assembles its plan, what we see is that the actions are added to the plan in the same order in which they will be executed later when we try to execute the plan. That means the current world state is always known while we are planning. So we're going forward through our state space, adding more actions, and we always know exactly what the current world state is like in which we have to apply more actions, add more actions to our plan. And again, this is a good thing because that means we know where we are and we can apply good heuristics to get to the goal as quickly as possible. Finally, the version of the algorithm I've described to you is the ground version. So it does not follow exactly the least commitment principle because it uses actions where partially instantiated actions might be more appropriate and reduce search. And one way to deal with this problem is lifting. That means we keep the variables in the plan and try to avoid unnecessary commitments to the values of those variables as long as possible. This version of the algorithm is then called lifted TFD and results in the same advantages that would be seen for lifted backward search, namely a reduced search space with a lower branching factor. Okay, and here is the pseudocode for the ground PFD algorithm. PFD, FD is still for forward decomposition, but P because it's partial order. The given network can be partial order and the given methods can be partial order. The function ground PFD takes as input a planning problem consisting of an initial state, an initial task network, a set of operators and a set of methods. So it is different from TFD because it takes a task network as input, not just a sequence of tasks. But other than that, the structure of the algorithm is very similar to what we've seen before. So we look at the first task in the network, and again the first case is that there is no such task in the network. Then if there is such a task, it can be either primitive, this is the case here, or it can be non-primitive, which is the final part of this algorithm. So the first case is again the one where the network is empty, so there is no first task in the network, and that means the empty plan is a solution for this task network. Then we get to the part where our first task is either primitive or non-primitive, but since this task network is partial order, there may be multiple tasks that are first in this network. First meaning it has no predecessors in the network. So what we have to do is choose one of the set of all such tasks that have no predecessors and make that the task that we want to refine next. So this task here is our chosen task for which we either want to find an action or a method to deal with this task next in our algorithm. If our chosen task is primitive, then we proceed pretty much as we've done in the previous TFD version of the algorithm. The first thing we have to do is compute the set of all those actions that match the task and are applicable in our given state. So this is the set of all actions that fulfill these properties. If this set is empty, then again we can return failure as this branch of the search tree does not contain a solution plan. Otherwise we can choose one of those actions together with the substitution that makes it the same as the task and we can apply the definition of a solution here by inserting a recursive call into our procedure. So what we have to do is test whether a modified version of the plan constitutes a solution to a modified planning problem. And the way we modify the planning problem is as before. We apply the action in our current state and take that successor as our new initial state. Then 
we give it a new network and that new network consists of our original network minus the task we are dealing with here. Actually, we're not only removing the task here, but also all the edges connecting to this task. And then what we have to do is instantiate the task network with the substitution sigma. So all the variables that we replaced to match it to our action are now replaced in this network. The operators and methods are of course the same as before. They don't change. And again, we assign the result of this function call to our variable plan. And if this plan then is failure, that means we can return failure because there is no solution here. Otherwise, we can prepend our action A to this plan and return that as a solution plan for our planning problem. And finally, we get to the part where our chosen task task is non-primitive. And in that case, what we have to do is again compute the set of all methods that are relevant for our instantiate task and that are applicable in our given state S. And if this set of methods is empty, then again we can return failure. Otherwise, we have to choose one of those methods together with the substitution. And we apply the definition again by modifying our problem and passing that into our ground PFD procedure. So in this case, the state remains the same, operators and methods remain the same, and all we have to modify is the network, and we do that by applying the decomposition function delta to our network, where we decompose our task task with the method m under the substitution sigma. And whatever this procedure returns will be the result of our ground PFD procedure. So you can see the partial order version of this algorithm is not much more complicated than the total order version. It still consists of the three branches that are given by the definition of a solution for a STN planning problem.